we'll be sharing some of the research and context and contexts to explain various experiences people are having in this reality. Um, let us look at drugs, the experiences that happens during the use of drugs. The experience is very quite a lot because what is being accessed during the use of drugs is the mind. One become more aware of either a segment or a more complete picture of the mind. Obviously, many then claim that they had a divine experience and that they have become more knowledgeable and even wise and they have experienced oneness. They've touched God, all kinds of stuff. Now, really sad news for you because to give you a context of your experience, what you're actually seeing is to look at an ant inspecting a Lamborghini. For the ant, the Lamborghini look amazing and out of this world. But even in this world, the Lamborghini is completely irrelevant. Your experience is completely irrelevant. Your oneness experience is simply you becoming aware that you are part of a system that controls you within which you do not exist at all. Nothing of what is experienced while on drugs is real. And as I mentioned, you will give me many excuses and wonderful things because apparently the experience was something divine. It isn't. It's just your mind. Now, if your mind is to such an extent superior to you and you are mostly unable to actually contain, direct or orchestrate or connect or map your own thoughts, never mind your memories. You can't even remember what happened during your life. How can you trust any of your perceptual insights? How can you trust any of the knowledge you hide behind? How can you trust anything that you are experiencing? Careful. Delusion. 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 Illusion. Illusion. The word illusion is very specific. It says you lose them. You lose yourself completely. And there is no divine spark waiting. There is no great merging with the great spirit waiting. It was all a lie. Time to take your hands out of the pocket and to start to find a way to sort out this reality because you are here as the result of the sins of your fathers. And what you're busy doing is creating the future of your children. You are responsible as your fathers and great fathers and forefathers were responsible. Time to take responsibility.